Welcome back to my channel. My name is Sid. I hope you are having a wonderful, wonderful day. So today I'm going to be ranking the Durham Colleges, specifically the Hill Colleges. I'm breaking this video down into three parts. So I'm going to be ranking the Hill Colleges today. I'm going to be ranking the Bailey Colleges in a part two. And I'll do a part three of like combining my scores so we get like an overall ranking. Oh, and I'll talk about my ranking system or like my scoring system. I'm scoring out of 10 for each category and I'm doing location, aesthetic, my experience, and vibe. And my vibe I have to summarize in one sentence because if you haven't gathered from this intro, I love to talk. So that'll be a bit of a struggle and each college will receive a score out of 40. So I'm gonna do one disclaimer or two disclaimers actually. So my first disclaimer is anything I say in this video is my opinion. If you don't agree with me, please counter argue with me in the comments would be respectful about it. When I say anything bad about a college, I'm not saying anything bad about the people that attend that college. I'm just saying the college isn't necessarily my cup of tea. And that's the wonderful thing about opinions is we all are entitled to our own and we should be respectful of other people's opinions. Also, all the information I could find for this video either came off of the Durham University website or college Instagram pages. So if anything's wrong, please correct me in the comment section. I did as much research as I could, but some things might have slipped through the cracks. I will be putting in the description box the Durham University website for each of the colleges I talk about as well as a YouTube video of a college room tour so you can get a better idea of what the rooms look like. So with all that information sort of rattling around in your head, let's just get into it. We're also saying my intro and get the nickname colleges are and a little like fact sheet about them as well so you get a little bit of background too. So first we're talking about USNOP which is a bad example because it does not have a nickname. It's a postgrad only college so I'm not gonna have a lot of to say about it this is gonna be pretty quick but it was founded in 1965 it's named after Sir Peter Ustinov who is a former Chancellor of Durham University it has 442 rooms you can have like rooms if you're like in a relationship and your partner's coming up they have a room for that and if you're coming up with your family they have a room for that which I thought was really sort of clever of them but I think that's because they're only postgrads they're also self catered which there's a difference in Durham colleges between catered which basically means the college has like a team that makes you your meals versus self-catered which is your room comes with a kitchen that most colleges I think you share your kitchen with people that like cook your own food it's also not a gowned college which gowned colleges are the ones you see a lot of which is people wear these like gowns it's I think every two weeks or a month and you have like you wear your little gown and you go to a fancy dinner it's very Hogwarts slash cult vibes Houston is not one of these colleges it's location I'm gonna give it a five out of ten because where it is is probably really good if you're a master's student because you're sort of isolated from the rest of the universe. You're a PhD student. Last year, you're PhD. You're gonna be like 27. You're probably not gonna wanna be around 18 year olds all day and that is valid. It is a 20 minute walk to the science site, a 30 minute walk to Elvett Riverside, which is another section of lecture halls and it is 35 minutes to town. It's aesthetic. I'm gonna give a four out of 10. I really like the brick exterior and it's really pretty. All of the pictures of the rooms I could find seem pretty standard for uni accommodation. I think a lot of the rooms in Durham are very copy paste especially for the Hill Colleges and they all like look pretty similar so nothing really shocking or different about the rooms. My experience I'm going to give a 3 out of 10 because I'm not allowed to go to anything in Houston out because I'm an undergraduate. I had to ask my boyfriend what the bar is like and stuff because he just finished his master's at Durham last year and he said all the people he met at Houston out and the bar he said was really nice but again because it's a postgrad only bar if you're a little undergraduate baby like me you can't go to the bar you don't know what it's like so the overall vibes i'm giving a four out of ten i'm sure it's a lovely college i think what it's like set out to do is very well done but I, i'm not allowed to access it so i don't know so its overall score is a 16 out of 40. So next we have josephine butler which if you're a student there's like two different nicknames it has it's either called butler or jobo i feel like people that are josephine butler call it butler but if you're anyone else you call it jobo i call it jobo but this is very controversial in the Durham community. For the rest of this, I'm gonna call it Jobo. I'm sure there's gonna be a bunch of Josephine Butler students kicking off in the comment. Anyways, so it was founded in 2006. It's named after Josephine Butler, who is a Victorian era feminist and social reformer. So that's a very girl boss move 
by them. There's not a lot of colleges named after women, but this is one of them. It is self-catered, a non-gowned college, and has 420 rooms for freshers. For location, I'm gonna give it a four out of 10. Even though it's like closer to Science Site in town and Albert Riverside than you snow because it has freshers in it, I'm taking that score down a little bit because I feel like as a fresher, when you're so far from that, you have such a long way home if you're doing like a night out or from your lectures and the walk is uphill. I feel like I wouldn't be happy about it. Given that it's self-catered and you have to walk into town to get your groceries and stuff, that seems like a lot. I'd always use delivery services. I'm assuming colleges let you use like Tesco delivery and Ocado and whatever. That would definitely factor into my decision making if I was gonna do a night out if I knew it was a 30 minute walk home from Jimmy's. It's aesthetic, I'm also gonna give it a four out of 10. It's pretty standard looking in terms of colleges and especially given it's so new, I would have thought it would look nicer. I don't know if that's rude of me to say, but given it's 2006 and it looks really similar to the rest of the colleges that are like of the 60s era, I was a little bit surprised. Again, rooms are pretty copy paste. I will say they are the only college that puts the exact measurements of what their rooms are gonna be on their website, which I thought was interesting and really clever. So you're a fresher, you can kind of map it out when you're at home so you know how much space you have and what to bring. I know not every college can do that, especially like at Bailey colleges because all the rooms are super different, but I thought that was clever of them. In terms of experience, however, I'm gonna give it a seven out of 10. It has the largest college bar out of all 17 colleges, which is amazing. Their college drink is called the Suffragette, which I think is so funny and clever. It, it, it fits the vibe, you know? Everyone that I've met that is from Jobo, they're such, such lovely people. I think they really embody the like spirit of Josephine Butler. They do a lot of advocacy and they're very involved. And I think it's really amazing. The atmosphere is really good. The bar is really nice. Also, their bar does food. And I think they have a toasty bar as well, which is a huge plus because I love a good toasty. And I think they kind of have to offer that when you're so far from town and stuff so people can get a cup of coffee and they can get a little snack instead of walking like an hour round trip to go to Greg's. Um, also any toasty bars and college bars that I talk about they're different than being catered because all of these are student run. All the employees you have to be a student at that college to work at a toasty bar and to work at the bar which is a really great way to get employment as a student at Durham and I would highly recommend it. I don't work in a college bar. Four or five friends that work in college bars and they all love it so. And then the vibe I'm gonna give a six out of ten. It's an overall solid college. It's just a a really long way out to visit which is a bit of a shame so its overall score is going to total up to be a 21 out of 40. all right so next we're talking about stevenson which a lot of students call stevo it is funny enough the college i'm actually assigned to but i don't go to but they won't let me not like be assigned the college which is kind of a shame because i really want to be cut that's not like a diss against stevo it's just because all of my friends are cuts and i go to all cuss things i won't let that cloud my judgment stevenson was founded in 2001 which is the same year i was born Amazing. It is named after George Stevenson, who is a British civil engineer during the Industrial Revolution and came up with the first steam engine that carried passengers on a public railway. Now you may be thinking, this seems like a very stupid fact for me to be including. And I would agree with you. However, it does like actually relate to the college. We'll just, we'll get there. 375 rooms for freshers. It is not a gowned college and it is self catering. The location, I'm gonna give it a four to 10 because it's right near Jobo. It's really far out. It's really close to Observatory Hill though which is really pretty. I forgot to mention that with Jobo. Um, I think it's like every Durham student should go to Observatory Hill and either see the sunset or sunrise. Their time at Durham is just 15 minute walk to Science Site, 25 minutes to Elvit Riverside, and 30 to Market Square. The aesthetic, I'm gonna give a six out of 10 because they commit to it. All of their social areas are like railway themed. They'll call them like platform one and platform two. Like they commit to the whole like Stevenson railway vibe. The bar area is also really nice. And given that it is older than Jobo, it seems a lot more modern in a lot of ways. I don't know if it's done renovations or something, but considering it's 22 years old you wouldn't think it's 22 years old i have been in one of the flats here i went to a house party at one last year i would say it's pretty standard in terms of durham accommodation it's nothing special very copy paste i don't think there's any of these that i'm gonna say or anything special so it's very copy paste for all of them the experience though i'm gonna say it's seven out of ten everyone i've met that is steve-o is lovely that's why i say i don't personally have beef with steve-o everyone's really nice the bar is huge one of the nicer college bars i would say it's on Honestly, the nicest. The college drink is called the Purple Train, which seems like a bit of a cop-out, but again, they commit to the theme. They were given an assignment and they knocked it out of the park, so go Steve-O. They seem to do a lot of events and sports viewing parties, which seems really cool. I've never gotten to one because I'm just 
so far away from them. They also have a cafe, which again, good idea if you're gonna be that far away and to get people coffees and snacks and stuff. I feel like you kind of have to offer that. I think their vibe, I'm gonna give a five out of 10. They pick their aesthetic and they stick to it. But again, they're just so far away. I wish they weren't because if the Bailey colleges get a little, you know, repetitive after a while and I would love to go to more Hill colleges. So overall, it's a 22 out of 40. Next we have South. This does not have a nickname because I don't think you can come up with a nickname for South. South was founded in 2020. It is the newest college in Durham for now. I think we're supposed to get a new college in either 2024 or 2025. South got its name because that is in the South part of Durham. Thank you, Captain Obvious. They could have picked so many names, but they were like, no, we're in the South, so we're gonna be called the South. They could have been like St. Giles. They could have come up with so much more, but they have 337 rooms for freshers. They are a gowned college, so when, I don't know how often they have formals. If you are a South student, let me know in the comments section. And they are self-catered. Starting off strong though, their location, I'm giving a five out of 10. It is closer to town. It's still a 15 minute walk to Science Site, 25 to Elvet Riverside and 30 in Market Square Tesco. But as you start to slightly move down the hill, you have less uphill to get to the college. So we're getting closer. Aesthetic, I'm giving a seven out of 10 because it is brand new. It is a stunning college. Everything's really futuristic and clean. The rooms are gonna be a lot newer. They're still very copy paste standard uni rooms but there's gonna be a lot less wear and tear on them. As South is so new, the rooms are really stunning. It also has a townhouse setup, allegedly. This is what their website said, which a lot of colleges, you're in like an apartment block and there's just one apartment on top of another. Sounds like you get like one townhouse and everyone gets like a floor. I might be wrong if you're a South student, again, correct me in the comment section, but that sounds really interesting to me. My experience at South, I'm gonna give a six out of 10. I've met people from South, they're all very lovely. I have really, really friendly, outgoing people. Their bar is also brand new. I haven't been to their Bar, but it looks from my pictures I've seen a lot like the one that's in the Durham Student Union you had all that money it is a brand new college and you could come up with that they do have four college drink they have the pond water staggered Oswald which is a Jaeger bomb with peach schnapps in it <laughs> I I hate Jaeger bombs at no point are Jaeger bombs a good idea and then they have a south shot which is a mystery shot and any bartender itself will give you a different one and then they have a purple hooter again it looks like they have a lot of events which I think is really important when you're gonna be that far away from town and they also have a cafe so well done overall vibe I'm gonna give them a six out of ten I need to go more often. I've only been around South once and it was, I was doing like a research project and I had to meet with someone um, and it gives off such a good vibe. So it's overall score comes to a 24 out of 40. So the next college is John Snow. I don't know if it has a nickname. I think people call it Snow, but I've never heard that. I think people just call it John Snow. Founded in 2001, again, I twinned the college. It was named after Dr. John Snow, who was a Victorian. Literally he was Queen Victoria's Obgain, and he helped contain cholera epidemics in London. They have 404 rooms for freshers. They are a gowned college and they are self-catered. Location, again, four out of 10. Down the hill, but it's out if that makes sense. So it's actually a longer walk. It is 18 minutes to Science Site, 25 to Elvet Riverside, and 30 in Market Square, Tesco. I've gotten lost trying to find it because it's so far off the road. And I ended up in Van Mulder. Talk about Van Mulder in a bit. To be fair, I had had many beverages, you know. I would have given a five out of 10, but I, I got lost. The aesthetic, I'm giving it a six out of 10 because it's a very standard looking college, but there's something about it that just scratches my brain. Got a nice green space, maybe it's that. I would have rated it higher, but considering steve is the same age, I think steve looks better. So that's just why I didn't get the full seven out of 10. For being built in 2001, it looks pretty modern. Also the rooms are pretty standard looking, again, copy paste. But I did find out that they offer, when you put in for your room selection, you can select if you're female to be put in a female only flat, if you're male to be put in a male only flat, if you can opt to be in a non-drinking flat, a nut free, a vegetarian or vegan, or a quiet house. You can choose, it's not gonna be guaranteed, but I think that's really clever considering drinking culture is pretty big around Durham. So I think it is really cool that they give students that choice. My experience, I am gonna give it a five out of 10 because I tried to go and I got lost. Their bar is called the Igloo for some reason. Wait, cause they're Jon Snow. No, igloo. That makes sense. I'm so clever. It is a wonder I'm in university. People are gonna watch this and be like, wow, Durham really let her in. And her closed drink is called the snow job. Fair enough. So vibe, I am gonna give it a six out of 10 because I think I need to go up the hill more often because it's really stunning and hopefully when I go up the hill, I don't get lost. So overall, 
Jon Snow gets a 21 out of 40. So we have St. Aiden's, everyone calls it Aiden. So it's spelled A-I-D-A-N. If you do anything and you spell A-I-D-E-N, you are gonna get shamed. You're gonna have a million Aiden students in your comments being like, it's spelled with an A instead of an E. It was founded in 1947. I did not know it was that old. You'll learn something new every day. It was named after St. Aiden, duh, who brought Christianity up to Northumbria and converted a lot of Anglo-Saxons. St. Aiden is the patron saint of firefighters for all those that are interested. It has 259 rooms for freshers. It is catered, which is good. So someone will make you your meals and you go down for like meal times, and, but it does not have gown formals. So it's location, I'm gonna give a four out of 10. It's really good if you're in the business school or you're gonna be in the school of government and international relations. It's like right by those. 15 minute walk to the science site 25 to Albert Riverside 30 Market Square Tesco but the walk into the Tesco isn't that big of a deal because it's catered it's more that walk is like if you're going out genuinely would have given it a 5 out of 10 took a point off for the St. Aiden steps because there's 85 of them and they are the worst I hate them aesthetic not much to say standard college look the rooms look pretty old it looks like they updated them in the 60s and haven't since my experience of them I am gonna give them a 7 out of 10 they call themselves the rainbow college and inclusivity is really really important to them which I love for them. Bar is pretty standard for college bars, but to be fair, I think the bar turned 50 years old last year. So for a bar that's 50 years old, there's only so much you can expect of it. But when you see other colleges, like the ones on the Bailey and like the state of their bars versus Aiden's and the college drink is a badger, I think, which is a Guinness with a VK, which is disgusting. So their overall vibe, I'm gonna give them a six out of 10. Love the inclusivity, hate the stairs is what I wrote. And I still stand by that. So Aiden's overall score comes to a 23 out of 40. So now we have Van Mildert, which is just called Mildert by students. It was founded in 1965, named after William Van Mildert, the last Prince Bishop of Durham and helped found Durham University, RIP King, or shall I say Prince? We're just gonna skip by that one. It has 410 room for fresh air. It is catered, but it's not a gowned college. Location, six out of 10. It has a huge pond in it and it has the Van Mill ducks. These ducks are like, like micro celebrities in Durham. Honestly, the main selling point of the college is the ducks. Get closer to places. It's now down to a 12 minute walk into Science Site, 22 to Elvet Riverside and 27 to Market Tesco. Again, being that close to Tesco isn't that important because you're catered, but it's more for like going out and stuff. Aesthetic, I give a five out of 10 because the pond is such a sleigh at the ducks. This entire part of the video is just gonna be me going, the Van Mill ducks. Don't love the look of the buildings though. They are very, very 60s and the inside is a bit dated. My experience of it is a six out of 10. Anyone I've met from Van Miller is very, very nice. Their bar is very nice. I think it's been recently renovated. There's no way it is 60. The college drink is a little loud and Shrek juice. I don't know what's in either of them. They're both interesting names to say the least. I also, Van Mildert, their freps are very active on TikTok and their TikToks all make me giggle a little bit. They seem really funny and like really cool people and I love their TikToks. So the vibe I'm gonna give is a six out of 10. Their main selling point is the ducks. That's all I've written. So their overall score comes to a 23 out of 40. This one I'm gonna do for now because I have to run to Newcastle to go collect my mom's. So the last one we're gonna talk about for now is Collingwood. It doesn't have a nickname. Collingwood was a college I was assigned on my Erasmus year when I came to Durham. I wasn't super involved in the college, but we'll kind of get into that. It was founded in 1972. It's named after Sir Edward Collingwood, who is a famous mathematician and the former chairman of the Univers Durham University Council. It has 522 fresher rooms. It's not a gowned college, but it is catered. From what I've seen, the food is a bit, mm. I haven't really talked specifically about food in this video because I don't know. Location, I'm gonna give a five out of 10. I would give it a six out of 10, but there's like an extra hill you have to go up to get to it. And oh, that hill kills. It's not nice. It is really close to places. It's only 10 minutes to the science site, 20 to Elvet Riverside and 25 to town. The aesthetic, I'm gonna give a six out of 10. And it's got a lot of new spaces There's and rooms. There's, they have a really big alumnus sponsor called Mark Hillerly, I think his name is. They have a lot of like rehearsal rooms and a lot of music stuff and like a brand new gym. It's really, really nice. It has like a big courtyard when you come in too. It's not really my aesthetic. Rooms are pretty standard for uni accommodation. I think I've seen two or three rooms. They're, meh. They're also very much known as being a sporty college. Like that's, they dominate in sports. That's like what they're known for. <laughs> So my experience with them 
is a mixed bag which i think could be true to all colleges this is just because i spent like one year really surrounded by people that are collingwood i just find them really sporty and really competitive which is fun when you do sports with them but when you kind of step away from the sports and they're still very like competitive and stuff it's a bit overwhelming the bar is huge has a huge outside seating area, has a bunch of new TVs, has a toasty bar, which I haven't had a toasty from, but they look really good and they always smell really good. And their college drink is called the Calling Wouldn't. I don't know what's in it. I'm pretty sure it's like a variation of Jagerbombs, if I remember right. The vibe I'm gonna give it is a five out of 10. I'm gonna say it's sporty and competitive, but good, it's close to stuff. So Collingwood's overall score comes to a 22 out of 40. I'm back. And I'm actually filming in the daylight for once so you can see me. I do not have a lot of time to film this. I have to be gone in 20 minutes to see my mom. So, cause she's here and we're gonna go out and hang out in Durham today. So I'm very excited. So when I say Trebs, I mean Trevelyan. Students call it Trebs. It was founded in 1966. It was named after George Macaulay Trevelyan, a historian and a former chancellor of Durham University. It was originally a women's only college. It wasn't the first women's only college at Durham, but it was a women's only college at one point because we love a girl boss moment. It has 272 rooms for freshers and it is a gowned college and it is a catered college. So location, I'm gonna give it a six out of 10. It's less down the hill which is very good for them. It's only 10 minutes to Science Site, 20 to Elliott Riverside, 25 to town. The getting to town isn't that big of a deal for like food, but like for nights out and stuff, because most of the restaurants and bars and clubs are in town. So gotta, gotta factor that 25 minute walk in. Aesthetic, I'm gonna give a four out of 10. There's so many hexagons and I hate it. I think I talked about this in my Q&A video with my boyfriend. I feel viscerally uncomfortable when I'm in Trebs. That'll, I'll talk about that more in the kind of the experience. They look really different from the other colleges because of the hexagons they also look really similar because it was kind of built in that same like 60s era i was told this by one person i didn't believe when they told me but i did some research and it's true when they were building the college they made all the like hexagons because they wanted it to look like a castle and in my opinion that was very poorly executed don't hate me i just don't like it in terms of the rooms not much to say very copy paste experience i'm gonna give it a five out of ten just because of the hexagons i like being kind of a corner seat or like against a wall and i can kind of see out i'm like a cat you can't do that in the Trebs bar. I really did not like, but everyone I've met at Trebs is really lovely. The bar is huge with a lot of seating. And the college drink, if I remember right, is called Hex on the Beach, which I thought is so funny. I don't know if that's true still because I couldn't find anything on like social media that actually said what their college drink was. And they also have a toasty bar. I have not tried their toasty bar, but I do love a good toasty bar. So overall, I'm gonna give them a five out of 10 for vibe because they could be great. There's just so many hexagons and it just makes me uncomfortable. So Trev's scores an overall score of 20 out of 40. So next we have Gray, which does not have a nickname. Very much like South, like it's to the point. It was founded in 1959. It was named after the Earl Gray, specifically Charles Gray, the second Earl of Gray. This is a really embarrassing fact about me. I didn't know the title of like Earl Gray was like a real thing until last year. So that's really embarrassing for me, but Charles Gray, the second Earl of Gray was prime minister when Durham University was founded and he also abolished slavery in the British empire. Go him. College was originally supposed to be called Oliver Cromwell College, but so many people were like, no, that's awful, that's not. Um, so they were like, oh, okay, we'll just change it to this. It's just such a clunky name for college as well, Oliver Cromwell College. I could call it Cromwell College. I'm kind of glad they stuck with Gray. They have 320 rooms for freshers and they are a catered and gowned college. Location I'm gonna give a five out of 10. It's a bit like calling when you have to go like up a hill. You have to go up a second hill to get to them. So I'm taking a point off for that. They are close to the science site. So I will kind of forgive them. They're only seven minutes from the science site, 17 to Elbert Riverside and 22 minutes to town. The aesthetic, I'm gonna give a six out of 10 just because we're doing renovations right now. And I feel like when the renovations are done, I think they're doing it on the gym, the common room and the bar. I know they're doing them in the bar because they're running the bar out of a literal shed this year. I think once that's done, I could honestly upgrade that to like a seven or an eight for now it's a six it's a very brick exterior very of its time it is a nice exterior don't get me wrong my experience i'm gonna give it a seven out of ten some really lovely people i met a lot of them for a research project i was doing last month a few through society as well and yeah i've not had a single bad experience or like a meh experience from anyone from gray they're really really cute people like i said their bars are under renovation and they're running it out of a shed which i think is so funny i've, I've been to gray once last year and they have three college drinks they have the 50 shades by name and by nature they're really running with the whole week 50 shades of gray theme so the vibe i'm going to give it a six out of ten because i think i've only gone once or twice and i liked it when i went and i think it's going to be even nicer when it's renovated so for overall score 24 out of 40. We have St. Mary's, which everyone just calls Mary's. It was founded in 1899. It is the oldest college on the hill and it was the 
first college for women. So girl boss moment, we love educated women. It was named after St. Mary, duh. Who, if you're wondering, is the patron saint of repentant sinners, hairdressers, and the contemplative life. It has 213 rooms for freshers. It is a gown college and it is catered location. I'm gonna give it a seven on a 10 because it is the closest hill college to the science site. It's only five minutes away from the science site, 15 to Albert, Riverside, and 20 minutes to town. Aesthetic, seven out of 10. It is a very imposing building, but in a good way, because like it was built in the 1800s, right? And this time in the years, they have, I think they're cherry blossom trees, they're like blossom trees, whatever they are, they're like pink. I will specifically walk to Mary's just to like look around at the trees. I think they're so stunning. The rooms are what you expect from a college built in the 1800s. I would honestly give them an eight if it weren't for the rooms. I mean, you can't really fault them on it and there's not a lot they can do renovation wise. The older colleges definitely have their upsides and their downsides. And one of the downsides is definitely the rooms. That's my opinion. My experience, however, I am gonna give a five out of 10. They have, out of every college, college bar the single worst college bar you, when you're like going to it you say like this is the main staircase like this is the stairs going up there's like doors on either side like you have to go down a side set of stairs and then doors that basically lead to the basement and you're walking around looking for the bar you genuinely feel like you're not meant to be there you feel like you're not meant to be like in this hallway looking for the bar find the bar the bar is tiny 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 I think there's like three tables and it. it gets so full so fast with like socials and everything it's just not the vibe which is such a shame because it would be the full package and would probably be my favorite college. The bar was nicer, but the college drink is nice. Don't know what's in it. And the people are so lovely. I have a few friends from modules that are married and I would die for them. They're such precious people. So overall vibe. So overall vibe, I'm going to a six out of 10. I think if I could choose any Hill College, it would be Mary's because location is really important to me. It would get a seven if it weren't for the bar. So overall, Mary scores a 25 out of 40. All right, thank you so much for watching today. Like I said, my intro is going to be part one of a series. I'm going to be ranking Bailey Colleges next and then combining my scores for the Hill and the Bailey in a part three video, just so it's not a lot of information I'm throwing at you guys. Also, I filmed this video on April 8th and as of today, I have 81 subscribers. I'm trying to hit 100 subscribers for my birthday. My birthday is the 28th of June. So if you could please, 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 please subscribe. I would really appreciate it. If you don't want to, it's no biggie. I hope I will see you again. And with that, we will just do our end of video tradition. I literally sat down to film this and I was like, wait, my water bottle's empty. So we take our emotional support water bottle or whatever drink we have around us. We take a sip of water. We stay happy, we stay healthy, and we are kind to other people. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Thank you.